Welcome back, Devils fans, and I am here to talk to you guys about the breaking news, the official announcement that the Jonas Brothers will be playing a pregame concert for the Stadium Series at MetLife Stadium when we, before we take on the Flyers. Now, first things first, I personally have nothing against the Jonas Brothers. They look like nice Jersey boys, and I'm sure I could possibly enjoy a, a beer or a beverage with them at a bar or something of that nature. However, being a middle-aged man and a longtime hockey fan, I couldn't have less interest in a band to play before the Stadium Series game. I am just curious where the league is going with something like this or who comes up with these initiatives. I believe the Jonas Brothers' standard demographic would probably be you know, ranging from little girls to girls in their mid-30s, I'm not really sure, but, um, you know, it just seems like a force here. I don't know if the league goes for, they try to get the biggest name they can. I understand the Jonas Brothers are from Jersey, so there's the connection there, but I just don't think the average hockey game-attending fan is looking for the Jonas Brothers in that scenario. I mean, I could, tell them, I could be wrong. I don't know. Guys, let me know if I'm crazy here. But it just seems like they, they try very hard to, to chase a big name or something that they think is relevant. And I think they completely missed the boat here. I mean, the Jonas Brothers before a hockey game outside? I, I don't know. It was just a head scratcher to me. You know, was, was Hanson not available? Could they not get Hanson? Mm -hmm. were, were those guys not available for the game? I mean, I don't know why the Jonas Brothers are the logical choice for the league to get to play the concert before the game. I would have been happy with any sort of, again, being I'm an old man, any sort of, anything that made sense to me, really. I, I, I would have loved to see someone like Bush, I love Bush, Metallica, obviously, Aerosmith, Kiss, any, anything in that realm, I think, I don't know, would have just seemed more in line with a hockey game. And, um, you know, I just... I'm just kind of scratching my head here at the Jonas Brothers. Nothing against them, like I said, but it just seems, it doesn't seem like a fit here. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the average fan gets excited by the Jonas Brothers. I'm not sure, but I don't think these little girls are the ones buying tickets and that that's really going to do anything for the for the game. I'm, I, I just don't know. I, I just don't know the logic that goes behind these things. And again, maybe I'm completely wrong. I do see young people, younger people at games, I don't think that crowd is necessarily buying these expensive tickets for an outdoor game, and therefore, I just don't see how it makes sense. I just really don't. You know, Jer you want to go with the Jersey tie? Uh, Bruce Springsteen? I mean, you know, he's from Jersey. That could have made more sense. Shit, I would have even settled for John Bon Jovi. John Bon Jovi has some arena bangers. I would have taken John Bon Jovi over the Jonas Brothers. And so I'm not trying to be a hater. Like I said, they seem like swell gentlemen. But for me, I personally wouldn't have had them on my short list of 50 bands or performers to play before the game. And that's just me. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Uh, are you guys excited by the Jonas Brothers? Or who would you have ideally? I'd like to see who you guys ideal. In an ideal world, if you could have picked the performer, who would you guys have picked? What would you have liked to see? It seems like the league, yeah, they're just chasing the big name. I don't know. I do think for the All-Star game years ago, there's a Canadian tie, but they had Drake. Like, obviously, they're not going to get Drake for this, for this game. It doesn't make sense, and he's way bigger now than he was then. But, you know, that's um, a little more on brand, I think, for what they're trying to do. I'm not really sure. Not really sure what to make of it, but I probably will use the pregame concert uh, time for extra tailgating, and I probably will not go into the stadium to see the show. Unfortunately, it just doesn't do anything for me. And so I believe I will be tailgating at MetLife, a little grilling, a little drinking in the parking lot, and I will use that time to continue to do that before the game. I just don't think I want to freeze at the stadium to see the Jonas Brothers. I'm sorry, guys. It's just, you know, I'm an old man. It just doesn't do it for me, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Although... The youngest one, I think Nick, he's married to an absolute smoke show. Absolute smoke show. Good for the good for the young youngest Jonas brother. I don't know how this came about, but wow. 
he did all right for himself. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about the Jonas Brothers announcement? Like I said, who would you have liked to see in an ideal world? Am I crazy in the Jonas Brothers? This is an amazing, this is an amazing get for the, for the game. And people are excited by this. I, I'm so curious to see what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. Until next time, friends, let's go.